Well, John, you know, we went to Vintage Film Channel, and I have to tell you, I married Linda, you married Penny, but we watched I Married Joan. Yes. This is a great series. I, you know, I remember this as a kid, mm. but I had forgotten really what it was about and all that stuff. This is pre-Lucy. If you no. loved Lucy, you're going to love I Married Joan. And Grace on Vintage Film Channel has 11 episodes up there. And you know 11 something, episodes. But John, here's the thing. I thought it predated Lucy as well. It didn't. It started a year after Lucy started and had the same director for the first episode. So they, no kidding. They stole, uh, I think his name is Mark Davis. They stole him or borrowed wow. him or, but because he did such a good job. And quite frankly, uh, I, I loved Lucy as most of America did. And I yep. do remember I married Joan, not so much because of Joan Davis, but because of Jim Backus. And that's, that's interesting. That's why I was really looking forward to it because I remember him being on it. Uh, but yeah. no, it really started a year after. And wow. it's, and they put it in a time slot. It, was, it died. They put it in a time slot against uh, Arthur Godfrey. And the oh. second, second, year, second year, the only reason it really raced ahead is that it raced ahead the week after Godfrey fired Julius La Rosa. <laughs> okay. Now that's going back. Right. And then that's uh, going back some. I want to check my note. And then the third year, talk about luck or bad luck. The third year, NBC, uh, ABC came out with something called Walt Disney Presents in the same Oh, my Lord. And guess what? I married yeah. Joan. Barely survived the year and never got renewed. Uh, so, a, that's a shame because it's a very funny series. Yeah, okay. To, well, me, look, to, to me, it's a Lucy wannabe and it never, it never became one. You know, it's not fair to call Joan Davis a Lucy wannabe because Joan Davis had a wonderful career in, in film. Uh, she was a physical comic. In fact, I think, yeah. if, I, if I recall correctly, Lucy was not necessarily known as a comedian. She was a great actress and right. did a lot of variety, but Joan Davis was the comedian. Joan Davis mm -hmm. was a physical comedy, did a lot of slapstick. She, she was she, in she a, actually a, grew a up Costello in, movie. She, she grew up in burlesque. I mean, that's yeah. where she performed uh, as, yeah. as, and, as a, as a comic. She, as, she as, was a with... funny woman, and she was very popular, very, um, very well known, mm -hmm. and it just made sense that she had radio shows with uh, Jack Haley. Um, she was in a movie with um, Eddie Cantor. She, believe me, she was. Lucy had nothing on Joan Davis. Um, in fact, I think, if we recall correctly, and you know, we can be corrected. Lucy, it was kind of a surprise when Lucy's show, uh, television show, took the direction it did because I don't think. People had seen Lucy as a physical comedian prior to that. You, you know, um, right, yeah. I remember she made a a, a, a movie with uh, uh, her husband, Desi Arnaz, about the right. long trailer, long, long trailer. Right. That was funny, slapstick kind of stuff. But other but, than that, Lucy had been more of a legitimate actress than Joan Davis was. But I want to point, I want to point out something, uh, a fun fact. The girl that we just saw her with... Um, yeah. Uh, who played her sister, uh, uh, named uh, Beverly Willis. That's actually her grown daughter. She no kidding. St she started in season two. And um, uh, they had, just like Lucy did, they had a lot, of, like uh, uh, another one of the episodes I saw had uh, Sheldon Leonard in it. Uh, yes. Uh, who played sort of a, a gangster. Yeah. Uh, and, and Jim Backus was a, theoretically a well-respected local judge. Yeah, and then he had the zany wife, uh, and it was she was always getting him into trouble. Here, here's an episode where um, she's trying to get this guy interested in her sister, okay? Yeah, because uh, she wants to get, and then he gets interested in her. I mean, it's really, yeah. it, it's really uh, off the wall kind of nonsense. Sure, but, but there are there were three seasons, of, uh, close to a hundred episodes, and uh, 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 Vintage Film Channel has. You, you did a count, right? They have a playlist of like... I, I counted 11, yeah. 11? There's at least 10. Yeah. Right. I watched, I watched a couple of them. We're gonna go, I'm actually going to go back and watch a few more 
only because I'm interested in all these little guest stars that they have, or the little, uh, Sheldon Leonard, I'm sure there are others. Sure. Uh, and uh, the only thing I didn't have time to, uh, I, I normally, on things like this, like to go take a look down all the casts for the three years. I, I didn't have time to do that, but I'm sure she has a lot of them. But here, here she's sliding under a jalopy, and yeah. uh, uh, she's getting uh, uh, oil all over herself. Yeah. And, it, it, it it really does cry out. Lucy Lucille Ball is more familiar, I think, right. than I Married Joan. So it you know we compare it to to Lucy. But the fact of the matter is, the I Married Joan series is a very funny series. Yep. Just as well produced, just as well written. Joan Davis is terrific. And and what's interesting for me, you mentioned Jim Backus. I when I went to watch these shows, trying to remember them from my childhood, I thought. You know, I thought of the Jim Backus, who's that funny, outrageous, pompous guy. And here he he's a great actor and he does a great job and he is very funny. But by comparison, he's pretty subdued. He plays. Oh, yeah, the, he, he was Mr. Howell on uh, Gilligan's Island. And of course, yeah. he, he played the voice of uh, Mr. Magoo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, here's my recommendation go to vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Ch Film Channel. Look up I Marry Joan. There's at least a, a 10, maybe a dozen of these episodes yeah. and binge watch them. They're terrific. They really are fun. So yeah. uh, I, I watched uh, uh, three of them in success and before I had to go out and do some shopping. Uh, and I came back and I watched a piece of another one and then we had to get ready for this uh, taping. But it really is a lot of fun and there's so many really great things to find on Vintage Film Channel. Yes. Uh, yep. The links are down below. And do us a favor, make us feel good, and subscribe to Celebrating Act 2. And then when you go to Vintage Film Channel, subscribe to them. And every week we're going to come back with something else that we reviewed on Vintage Film Channel that we found interesting and fun, and things that all of us will remember because we saw them for the first time when we were young. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.